In 1 Peter chapter 3, Peter gives some timeless advice about Christian unity. And he begins right at the top with the family unit, one of the things the enemy is trying so desperately to destroy today, the bond between one man and one woman, one flesh. To wives, Peter says, don't be so concerned about your outward appearance, hairstyles, jewelry, or clothing. Now keep in mind, this letter was written nearly 2,000 years ago. Instead, Peter says, clothe yourselves with what is precious to God, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit. To the husbands, he says, honor your wives and live with them in understanding. Guys, we need to depend on the Lord's wisdom to live in understanding with our wives. It's important to our prayer lives and our relationship with the Lord. Then Peter says this in verse 8, finally, all of you should be of one mind. One mind. Minds that are alike in that they are focused on Jesus. That's what unifies us as Christians. That mind produces sympathy and love for each other, gives you and I hearts that are tender and humble, and makes us a blessing to others. We experience unity as we bless one another. And as we focus on Jesus together, and develop these attributes that a single mind produces. God will grant us his blessing, unity under the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Unity that brings joy and peace in spite of things, circumstances, or people. Then Peter quotes the Psalm of David, a blessing that unites us under Jesus Christ. If you want to enjoy life and see many happy days, keep your tongue from speaking evil, and your lips from telling lies. Turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right, and his ears are open to their prayers.